In this video, I'm going to show you how to start selling digital products with WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we just need to know a few things before we get started. So this particular video is based on this article on AOVUp.com. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so a few things to note is let's go through the steps. So the first thing you'll need is a domain and a hosting. Okay, so your domain is just your website address. For example, with us, it's AOVUp.com. So you'll need that. Then you'll need your hosting, which will connect your domain to the rest of the world. Okay, so as I said, I'll leave a link. Um, in the description below and you can go through and you can choose a hosting provider from one of the two we recommend or you can choose any other one it's totally up to you so the next step would be to install wordpress and go ahead and activate woocommerce okay so let's go through this step now so let's head over to our dashboard okay so in this step we're just going to install and activate woocommerce right so we'll go plugins add new and then just go ahead and search for woocommerce Okay, and it's this one here. So I've already got it installed and activated, but once you click install and activate it, it'll walk you through a installation wizard, right? So the installation wizard will help you walk through the steps needed to configure WooCommerce. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and configure our store to sell digital products. Okay, so we'll navigate to WooCommerce and then settings. We'll go ahead and click on products and we'll click on downloadable products. Okay, and here where it says file download method, we just need to go ahead and choose from the relevant option here. You can click on this link here to learn more, but for the most part, you'll most likely click force download as it will use um, a PHP to force the file to download without loading the URL in the browser. Okay, that can sort of help um, protect your files for when someone downloads it um, they're not able to easily share it with their friends, okay? So just select force download here. Um, access restriction, so again, it depends on your store setup, but you can enable this option here to force the customer to um, log in before they're actually able to download the file, okay? And then we'll leave the other options as it is. So we'll just hit save changes. Then we'll navigate to account and privacy. So again, um, guest checkout, this is totally up to you. So you can enable this option to allow um, customers to check out without creating an account. Um, it's totally up to you. This option here, it says allow customers to create an account on the My Account page. So again, a lot of these options will depend on your personal circumstances. Um, I'm gonna enable this option. Okay, and then let's go ahead and just hit save changes. Okay, so now we'll navigate to payments and there's numerous amount of payment providers to choose from, but the most common one and the most popular one um, for WooCommerce is actually Stripe. Um, so we can click discover um, payment gateways here, which will take us over to the WooCommerce site, or we can click um, plugins, add new, and then we can just search for the particular payment provider and which one to use for our WooCommerce store. For this example, I'm gonna keep it super simple and I'm just gonna be using a direct bank transfer and check payments, okay? Since there's no need to enter our card details for this example, okay? So that's our payment option. Okay, so now we can actually move on to creating our downloadable digital products, right? So in this case, we'll just navigate to products and then add new, but I'm gonna click all products since I've already created a few beforehand. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this particular book here. So in your case, where it says product name, you'll just enter in your product name here. In my case, it's my awesome book. And we can add a description regarding the digital product in which you're currently adding. So we can add the product image so if I click remove here, I can just click select product image and then we can choose a product image, okay? Okay, we can specify the category and then here on the product data, we can choose from a simple product, um, grouped product, external or a variable product. So you'll want to use variable product. Let's say, for example, if this particular book was available in different file types, right? Let's say it was available in um, a PDF, maybe a dark file type, right? Then we could use variable product and then we can basically add um, the different variation of this particular product. So I'll leave a link on screen to a video which shows you in more detail how to add a variable product to your website, okay? I'm just gonna keep mine to simple product for now. 
we'll add the price okay so this is a regular price we can add a sales price okay and we just want to make sure we tick this option where it says virtual and then we'll also tick this option where it says downloadable okay and we'll go ahead and add our file here so we'll just click add file okay we'll choose the file and it's this file here which i've just downloaded okay so we'll just click insert file url and then for the name this is what a customer will see so we'll say okay and that's fine um download limit so let's say for example if you only wanted um customers to be able to download this three times then you can enter it here or you can leave it blank meaning they can download it unlimited number of times we can add an expiry date here as well or we can leave it so it never expires we can add a short description as well um, you'll see in a second why where this will display we can also add product tags um, so let's just click update and then let's preview our product okay so let's just hit view product okay and this is our product so far so we've got the product name, we've got the product description, okay, and some related products. So how this will look will depend on the theme that you're using, okay? So it might look slightly different in your case. So this is essentially how you'd actually sell digital products with the help of WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and purchase a product. So let's just add this one to cart and let's view our checkout page. Okay, so by default, your checkout won't look anything like this. This is um, powered by the AOVUP um, checkout plugin. So if you head over to AOVUP and go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin, there's a free and a pro version. Okay, you can use this plugin to customize the checkout experience. So, so you can reduce unnecessary fields on a checkout page you can add upsells you can add a side cart like this you can add a buy now button well if you noticed on my product page there was a add to cart button and there was a buy now button okay which takes us directly to the checkout page okay so that's all powered by this particular plugin here so i'd urge you to go ahead and download this particular plugin even if you download the free one that's fine if you get the pro version of course you'll have more features so i'll leave the link in the description below um, to this particular plugin another plugin which i'd recommend is our product table plugin okay so if you download the aov up product table plugin okay this will allow you to display your products in a different format so for example so here this is a um, beat store and here you can see the different products is displayed in this table format so it just makes it easier for the customers to find and discover the particular um, product in which they want in this case whichever which beat they want okay so they can quickly filter it by different um, criteria and so on okay we've got a few different um, examples but you get the idea what you add on um, will depend on your circumstances so you've got the basic framework of selling digital products on WooCommerce and that's a quick and simple way to sell digital products with the help of WooCommerce as usual if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible